Teacher fired because of the book she read to her fifth grade class is now appealing her termination. Katie Rinderley was removed from Due West Elementary back in March after reading My Shadow is Purple, which challenges gender norms. The Cobb School Board fired Rinderley last month. Well, today Rinderley appealed the State Board of Education, saying the decision to fire her, quote, undermines students' freedom to learn. And it was quite the clash among parents, educators, and the Cobb County School District tonight. It sure was. Everyone just wants what's best for their child, right? Mm -hmm. Atlanta News First, Joshua Skinner is outside the school board tonight. So, Joshua, it's a little more complicated than just that. Yeah, a little more complicated, a little more physical tonight. We were here about a month ago for the school board meeting uh, for the Cobb County School Board at the Cobb County School Board building, I should say where it was a heartfelt, emotionally driven meeting, but tonight's meeting was way more heated and not just during the meeting. The fireworks started before the meeting. I am very disappointed in the behavior of Ragsdale supporters in the parking lot this evening. A melee broke out when the sign-up sheet for public comment was moved to a new location just 30 minutes before the meeting started became like this kind of battle with so many people um, fighting and pushing each other. To treat one another like this is beyond ridiculous. It was almost barbaric. And once the meeting began, hundreds of people gathered inside to cheer, speak, and protest. As a community angered by the superintendent's politically driven decisions and... Nearly all speakers railed against the removal of certain books from school libraries, accusing Superintendent Chris Ragsdale of trying to silence trans voices. Don't ban the books we write. Ban the bigotry that takes them. Trans kids and non-binary kids are real and they exist. But Ragsdale pushed back against the notion that Cobb County is banning books or going rogue. Instead, saying only books with vulgar and lewd content will be removed. Ragsdale's comments came after an anti-Ragsdale rally was held outside the school board building earlier this afternoon. Many of those people were at the meeting later Thursday night, turning their backs when Ragsdale gave his statement. We have a unique responsibility. Now, some of those books in question tonight were the graphic novel Flamer, as well as the book Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. Now, it bears repeating that Superintendent Ragsdale says that this is not a political issue. It's not a left versus right issue, is what he says. In fact, he claims it is a battle between, quote, good and evil. Report